What is up everyone? Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics, coming to you with another hot end build. This is the stealth burner for the Micro Swiss Ender 3. Uh, these are the parts you're going to need. This is just the stealth burner part for the front end, unmodified. Uh, it's the stealth burner uh, bottom part. I just added a couple little screw holes in there. And then this is the custom mount I made for the Micro Swiss hot end. And then um, we have our 5015 fan that I already connected here, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. I already videotaped me connecting it. Uh, the hot end fan is just hanging there. And I did put on some duct tape on these just to keep the wires um, from getting pulled around too much um, and breaking the fans. And then I did just have the hot end already pulled apart here so we're ready to go uh the screws that we're going to need we have num uh, one and a half inch number six one in uh, sorry two one and a half inch number sixes two one inch number six um, those are six millimeter uh m3s and then on the mount we have um two m3 10 millimeters on the top there and then um, we have the same thing over here uh, 10 millimeter m3s two of them and then here we have the screws that came with uh, the initial fan the stock fan shroud that went on there um, so it goes something like that first thing we're going to want to do here is take uh, this piece and the mount and we're going to put it on just like this and then tighten up those two screws. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our hat on off here. You can take it off here or up here. My tube seems to be stuck in there pretty good so I took it off there. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to slide this mounting piece up through here. We're going to put our hot end back on. And then once our hot end's back on, we're gonna push it up here and put these two screws in and secure it to the direct drive. So here I push the hot end, it's hard to see on camera, but I push the hot end and the tube back on and I'm gonna apply pressure holding up as I put the securing clip on there, just to make sure it's on there nice and tight. To tighten the screws on the hot end, it's easy to go in through here because if you try to pick this up, it doesn't really want to bend up. So you can tighten up the screws right in through here. Just give it a nice tighten. Once you got the hot end secured in there and those screws in there nice and tight, we go ahead and tighten up these two screws here. And go ahead and attach our BL touch. Just run the wire across the top, down the side, and get it screwed in there. Next, I'll show you what you gotta do to get this fan ready to put into uh, the front part of the stealth burner. And what we need to do is remove the cover and clip off these uh, little eye pieces here. So I'm gonna grab my snips here and just snip these. Snip these clips, get that out. Just give us a little more room here. Now we just want to go ahead and snip off these eye pieces like this and just keep snipping off the pieces till you get it nice and flat. After you're done you should have something that looks kind of like this. Nice smooth sides there. Now we're going to want to take this piece and the fan just fits very nicely in the top. There's a little arm here that bends back and forth to hold the fan in place. So you kind of put it in place where it needs to go and just kind of wiggle it in place until it fits in there nicely. And there we go. The wires on the fan are stripped and I went ahead and put two pieces of uh, heat shrink on there. I also 
went ahead and pre-stripped the wires up here with the blue and yellow so they are ready to go and then i have my soldering gun and my heat gun here ready to go so when i attach the red wire to the yellow wire i'm going to solder it and i'm going to attach the black wire to the blue wire and solder it and then i'm going to use my heat gun to shrink the heat shrink insulation hopefully you have something like this where your wires are connected red to yellow black to blue and they are insulated the next step is uh putting the hot end fan in so for this all we're going to undo is get the sticker towards us with the wire facing upwards. And we're going to stick the top end in and then push the back end down. And we have the wire sticking out here. And there's this little channel that goes up the side here that we want to route that wire up. Just kind of route it up through that channel there. Okay. Once you're done, you should have some wiring that looks something like that. The wiring just goes up through the channel and down and up and out. And then I like to take this wire and also took it and put it under that clip there. So then when we go to put this on here, it all comes out the side and looks all nice over there. So we got the fan in and the wires run the way I want. I also went ahead and put those two M3 screws in there to secure the fan. And next step is probably the scariest part of the build, but don't worry, it's okay. Um, so this pin here on the extruder is actually a little bit long and it will run into the back of the fan there. So we're gonna have to take a Dremel and actually shorten that pin there um, on other printers like my Ender 5 Plus, this pin isn't as long. Uh, there's not, it's not meant to have a knob on it, and we don't need the knob anymore, so cutting the pin doesn't matter. Um, but it's scary, um, but don't worry, it's fine. We're just going to go ahead and pop that on there. And then we take our inch and a half screws go on the bottom and our inch screws go on the top. Once we have our screws all tightened, I like to put a zip tie over here in the extra hole that's actually meant for the Ender 5 mount. Um, but since it's unused at the Ender 3 mount, it's perfect to put a zip tie to hold your wires there. Now, all that is left is to set our uh, X and Y offsets for the probe and our Z offset. Uh, the X and Y offset should be the same, but your Z offset will be different. So be sure not to dig that nozzle down into your bed.
looks super nice in black and purple as well.